The hardest thing for me to figure out when packing my bags to do this family trip was if I should bring my whole setup, my cameras and all my gear, or if I should just vlog with my GoPro, which is uh, such a handy little device. I'm so glad I brought my stuff because even though I love GoPro, you would have seen videos just like this instead of this. So I'm gonna show you what's on my bag. So I have this think tank bag. It was suggested by uh, another YouTuber, you may know him, his name is Peter McKinnon. And basically a lot of the gear I have is because I saw his channel. So here's what I carry. Let's begin with this compartment here, my main camera, which is the one I'm using to make this video. It goes usually here, I have attached a uh, 16 to 34 millimeter lens by Canon. I just leave it attached and I have it right here, ready to go. A Rode Pro microphone right here. It's a shotgun mic and that goes right here. On top of my camera, I put batteries, extra batteries for the drone and for the, my camera and my GoPro. And then right here, I have my drone. I have a Mavic Air by DJI. Very handy, very portable, look at this. Freaking awesome. So you just unfold, you have it ready to go. You can capture the mountains, the desert, the forest, anything you want. Doesn't go super far, but it goes far enough to get killer video. Then I have another bag. These baggies are also by Think Tank, also recommended by Peter McKinnon. They're really cool because they're clear. You can see where your stuff is. In this baggie, I have all the chargers and extra wires. That goes on top of the drone. Now here I have a very, very special device, the Zoom Recorder H6. Very useful because you can capture your live performances if you're a musician or just capture the sound of different things, the sound of birds, the sound of a fountain, and you add it to your footage and you have this cinematic video. It's a must. And then I have uh, the cover for my, for my camera. I have a very cool handy LED light. This is great. Check this out. See? If I didn't have the window that I have next to me, I have my light. So I just put it right here. And you have, it comes with a charger, it comes with a gel, if you wanna make your light cooler, and a little horseshoe mount, so you can put it on top of your camera if you wish. But I have my microphone, so I usually put it somewhere else, on a chair or you know, a little wall. When you really wanna make a video, you find your ways. All right, so here is, I brought my headphones, my studio headphones. These are the Audio Technica and they collapse so you can easily carry in your backpack. The hard thing is to unfold, I always get confused, but here it is. I could have brought my little ear pods by Apple, they're small, light, but you know what? The quality of these headphones is great, so if you're gonna be making a video, mixing, maybe you recorded a song. It's just very enjoyable to put this over your ear and you're able to have such high quality audio so you can edit and know that what you hear is what you, everybody will hear. I always get stuck trying to put them away. I have right here an ND filter, Tiffin 82 millimeter variable ND filter. Sunglasses for the camera. So in a very sunny environment, you put this. You can regulate how much you wanna darken the scene. I carry my 85 millimeter lens. This one is great because it's a prime lens. And your background will look super blurry and compressed. It's good for low light. It's just a great lens, but the other one that I'm using right now, it's more practical. It's wide, so I can have the camera right in front of me, right here and still be able to have the whole room. I have the controller for the drone. I have an SD card case, waterproof. And you can have your SD cards right here. I have this, so whenever there's dust in the camera, you can quickly get rid of it. And of course, I have my GoPro. And also I keep this compartment here ready for my jobby tripod that I use to hold my camera. Right here, I carry things like my Kindle, although with babies it's very hard to find the time to read. I have my notes, my video ideas, songs I'm writing, things I gotta do, nice pen, some business cards. Then in the zipper, that's where I put little stuff that can fall. 
a card reader for my iPhone, because you know iPhones don't have a card slot, so that's lame. Cords for my gimbal, which I didn't even bring my gimbal in this trip. Headphone adapter, GoPro stuff. With GoPro, you have like a thousand pieces. In this compartment, caps for the lenses. On the side right here, an external hard drive and a very old external battery. In the other side, the cord charger, charger cord for the computer. In the back, the computer. So you can do some computational activities. And lastly, I carry this with me. This is a guitar, a travel guitar, tiny, Super powerful. I have a video, it's one of my most popular videos, reviewing this, and people keep saying, oh, it's just a uh, ukulele, electric ukulele. Well, you know what, it's not. It's really an electric guitar with the same power of an electric guitar, a very specific tone, and a super short scale. I used to tune it higher than my regular guitar, but actually I found out there are strings that I can use so I can keep it tuned at the standard tuning. Donde está el amor que un día sembramos para la eternidad? This one is a must. I carry this on my suitcase, but I have taken it on my camera bag as well. I have to go now because I was given this room for only 30 minutes. By the way, if you're traveling and you are looking for a place, silent place to make your videos, you can always ask the hotel you're staying at if you can use their conference room. So thumbs up for the Holiday Inn Cuernavaca Express for allowing me to use this space to make this video for you. I'll see you later. Bye.